In beautiful Nicaragua, a footpath leads upward onto a high plateau along a scarp of high grasses. At the top of his world, some 2,000 feet of elevation, the guide gathers the group there. He points north to Honduras and northwest to El Salvador. The late afternoon sun mixes with the dust of the dry seas and painting the sky a peachy hue. A volcano, foothills in the distance. In the lush green, rolling foothills of northern Nicaragua is a place called El Porvenir, a coffee farm. A collective farm of some 40 families. The footpath descends from the plateau downward to an old rustic wooden warehouse. In the warehouse, some 30,000 pounds of coffee, a harvest with no marketplace, nowhere to sell the beans. The guide explains that the bank will soon foreclose and El Porvenir will fail. Forty families will wonder how they might survive. Listening to the guide that day, among the group was Donna Taylor, a two-year veteran of the Peace Corps, a former TV producer from Pittsburgh. It was Donna's voice who interrupted, saying, We can sell your beans. Donna Tabor, global citizen, an American by birth, a Nicaraguan by choice. And then for Donna, there were the street boys of Grenada. Donna Tabor, global citizen, an American by birth, an Iraqi by choice. A former TV producer and Peace Corps worker, Donna Tabor settled in Nicaragua in 1995. She works as a full-time volunteer for the grassroots organization called Building New Hope, which is based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Grenada, Nicaragua. Under her creative guidance, Building New Hope has been developing alternative education and vocational skills program, as well as responding to health and nutritional needs in Central America. The scope of her work is as diverse as the people she serves. She welcomes street children into her home, teaches them to read, feeds them, and provides medical care when needed. She opened a small veterinary clinic to control stray animal population and provides medical care for workhorses. Cafe Chavales a culinary arts workshop and restaurant is run by the at-risk teens in Nicaragua. And this is her latest project. Tabor's persistence has successfully promoted a flexible community-to-community -community 
approach to development based on a vision of globalization that puts people first by promoting democratic, sustainable, and healthy communities. Donna Tabor's nominator is Terry Ryan Kane, friend and first was a volunteer. A cash award in her honor will be given to Building New Hope. It is my extreme pleasure to introduce and welcome Donna Tabor. I was hoping I'd also get an award for not falling on my face, walking across the stage in my heels. I'm not used to this. I usually wear sandals. Uh, I want to thank everybody who came to witness this tonight, everybody from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Building New Hope, all my friends, um, my daughter Cindy, and Dr. Terry Kane, who nominated me. Thank you so much, Terry. I don't think any of us believed that this would ever happen for us, but we're very happy and very thankful. And thank you to the committee for giving us this beautiful, beautiful venue for honoring all of us tonight. And I'm really in great company after meeting all the other honorees. I I'm, I'm, can't tell you how honored I feel right at this moment. I'm going to tell you a story. It's set in Nicaragua, which is um, the second poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, the other country more poor than we are in Nicaragua is Haiti. Annual income, $600 a year. My story takes place in Granada, Nicaragua, where I live, and it's in a school called Escolita Yo Puedo. Escolita means a little school. Yo Puedo means I can. This is a school that we, of Building New Hope, started about four years ago. We serve about 50 children in this school. Um, all of them uh, very, from very, very poor families and would be truant from school if they didn't have Escuelita y Puedo to attend. We're happy to serve them. They're beautiful, beautiful little children and we just see success, uh, success in each one of these kids. I know that someday they're all going to make all of us very proud of them. In this school is a young teacher, Ernesto Castillo Molina. And just a few weeks ago, when our, our school school year just began, all the teachers were doing the regular routine. We were sitting around in a meeting and we were deciding what do we need to make this school a, a good year for the kids. And one teacher wanted a, a wall map and somebody else wanted um, a Bacchus to teach um, math. We needed some more CDs for our one computer for the kids, the learning CDs. And Ernesto said, uh, well, I